Good morning, welcome back to Kate's for um, pack testing, Ben the pack tester here. Excuse my little tickly cough that I've got. I'll try and uh, power through this video as best I can. So this is about what you, what to do, what happens when you find plugs like this. Unsleeved live and neutral pins so basically just a background on this any new product you buy now from the shops this kettle here brand new kettle you'll see here has got yeah it's better to do it that way so it's got a full metal earth pin and then you can see on there uh, that the live and neutral uh, pins um, they're partly sleeved so you can see there just the tips are bare metal and the rest of them uh, are sleeved. And that's basically a little safety feature that was put in on plugs quite some years ago now. Um, it was just to basically uh, mitigate against the risk if you put your fingers behind the plug there when you were plugging it in or pulling it out. The sleeve pins gave an extra layer of protection against electric shock. But what you will find is when you uh, come around pack testing, especially in a place like this, I'm in a church today, it's quite an old church. There's some quite old appliances around here. You can tell they're quite old kitchen. Uh, nice little place though. Um, they've got a couple of items here. This old kettle. Yeah, I haven't seen one of these. I think since I was about four years old and my mum had one of these. Russell Hobbs kettle. And you can see here the plug has got unsleeved pins. Um, now, the code of practice says is that whilst the um, the regs on plugs are not retrospective, so whilst this um, is not necessarily caused to fail an item, um, it would be best practice to swap out the plugs on these for a new plug uh, with the sleeve pins. Now this particular place, unfortunately, I found one there. I found an item over there, a tea urn, where this morning the plug has self-destructed on me. Now, um, I think because it was an urn, I think there's been some heat damage and the plug has become so brittle because it's so old. You know, but again, they're unsleeved pins. Another important reason to do your vision inspection, just went to tighten the... Um, uh, one of the terminals there on the earth terminal and the whole plug cracked. If I hadn't have attempted to uh, just check the terminal tightness there, I might not have come across that. So another important reason for a vision inspection. Um, and then over here, there's an old fridge here. Again, it's got unsleeved pins. Um, and there's another item in the room over there, an old hoover with unsleeved pins. So how I react in this situation is where there are so many items that need um, changing. There's two ways you can do it. You can either get the plug swapped out uh, while you're on site, get them done. Or how I do it sometimes, it's not the best way of doing it, but sometimes it's the way you have to do it. If you're short on time, if you don't have the amount of spare plugs needed, this is quite a rare situation, um, then what you can do is you can pass the item like I say, because the rules are not retrospective, so you, yeah, this item will pass. But then you make a record in your notes that you would want to see that plug changed, either by the duty holder or you, know, you can pop back as a pack tester and change those plugs um, at a later date. And just make a, a note for it on your on your records. But where possible, you would want to try and change the plug to a, a new plug with the sleeve pin straight away. Um, but like all pack test jobs, I see I come across and see stuff every day and it just kind of throws you out of sync a little bit or it surprises you and you think oh no i haven't got enough plugs to do all of that or something so you just have to react um do the best and the safest thing on the day um keep notes keep records of everything what you're intending to do and um then you can get the plug swapped out um for your customer to make them nice and safe so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel if you can it gets my videos out to lots of people it helps lots of people i uh, hope you got something from this and i'll see you all soon